I agree with you, Mrs. Ambo Chaturvedi. Um, to answer the question whether India can become a superpower or not, the obvious answer is yes, because eventually we will arrive at that spot. We, the transformation process has started, reforms have begun since 91. So India is not looking good. Now, the second part of the question would be what, what does it take to be a superpower and when it can become a superpower? Uh, so what is the definition of superpower? Uh, nuclear weapons, good roads, good railways, good infrastructure, good power, good power facilities, zero power cuts, women's education, equal rights. India will arrive at all those all, India will arrive at all those avenues, all those milestones will be achieved. But um, the, difficult, the difficult question will be how quickly, because you have a billion people, you, you have a billion people, and the biggest problem which was touched upon in today's um, last session was, will uh, the Maoist problem, which has just come up in the last five years, these problems are going to be the crucial ones which we need to watch out for because our change, our, our change is slow. We're not like China. We're not dictator. We're not dictatorship. So change will be slow. What our biggest concern is to watch out for the Maoist insurgency problem just come up. Who knows what other problem is going to come up because of the amount of inequality which is there in the country. So we need to see how quickly we can. Uh, we can eliminate inequality in the country. Well, that needs to be the key question. Can India become a superpower? Yes, it can. So that's, how, that's where I'd like to end.